today we're doing an easy video on six tools you can purchase under $30 to use in your detailing business. Some of these are for the interior, some of these are for the exterior, and some of these are for both applications. I'll have the links to all the tools down in the description box if you wanna check them out. And if you are looking to start or grow your detailing business, you can click the link down in the description box to download the eight services you can offer in your business guide where it covers how much you can charge, how long a service should take, what's included in those services, all that in the guide below. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. So starting with number one, super easy, are these uh, floor mat holders. Now this is from Malco. I think the single is 16 or $17, and then the pack of four is like $60. So obviously it can go over $30 if you buy more, but just as a single one, it is 16, $17. And obviously this is a very convenient thing to have, whether it's at your home garage or at a shop, just to like one, hold the floor mat so you don't put them on the floor or on a table. And a lot of times we'll do the, the whole cleaning on the floor mat so vacuuming it blowing it out um, agitating and extracting that'll all happen here now because we do have quite a few of them here um, what we'll do is like it we're able to hold like the, the the rear cargo floor mat or these larger floor mats we're able to hang them because we have enough of them to actually hang from one to the other and it, it does make life much easier so this was a nice little upgrade to do um, again depending how many you purchase but it does make your life easier when it comes to floor mats next is going to be these scrub ninja variations um, this is the scrub mitt, this is the scrub pad. There's another one that we have that's an actual like ninja star looking one. And these are absolutely fantastic. Now, these come in a pack of three and I think it's like, what, like $15? I think you can buy these in singles for like, I don't know, $10. I'll have everything linked down below. But this is our number one method to cleaning plastic and leather surfaces. If we're gonna use a brush, it's to get like to the detailed areas where like this mitt or, or, or pad obviously won't fit. But 95% of the time, it's in some variation of these. Typically for the larger one, we're gonna use this to clean larger seats or surfaces, primarily seats though. These smaller ones, the pad and the Ninja Star, those are for both the door panel, the center console, the steering wheel, and of course, leather seats as well. So, and we just purchased another set here because we go through them quite a bit because we do a lot of interior work. So, highly recommend you get some of these in your arsenal. Next up are these uh, seat belt cleaners. Um, I think they're like 16 or $20. Um, now these, they do a good job for general light cleaning. When it is a very intense cleaning and like it's really bad, we'll probably just pressure wash our seat belts or we'll use like a toothbrush to get like in specific areas. But these are very useful in terms of like the design because obviously like you just feed the, the seat belt through here, clamp it and then just move it up and down. So are these like the end all be all like best seat belt cleaners? No, but for a specific situation on what you're doing, maybe this is gonna be easier for you and faster versus using um, some other form of brush, primarily like a like a like a uh, detailed toothbrush style brush. So, do you need these absolutely? Like, are these an absolute must? No, but at least maybe having one if you're doing a lot of interiors could help you out. Next up, it's gonna be a pump sprayer. Now, this one specifically, an, an IK pump sprayer. I think it like this one specifically is at thirty dollars, so it's, it might be over your budget as far as the title of the video. But we have all kinds of pump sprayers from Home Depot, from Car Supply Warehouse, from Amazon, um, ranging in price point as well. So not so much that it has to be IK pump sprayer or Merrillix, which is I think even more expensive and even harder to find. Um, but more so just a, a pump sprayer in general. Um, we have a bunch of pump sprayers here in our van and in both shops and both units. Um, and each one has probably gonna be the same thing an all-purpose cleaner diluted 4 to 1, uh, all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1, um, iron remover, um, uh, a rinseless, or a, a, yeah, a, a rinseless, um, and a, a quick dry, or a, a drying aid. Um, and because we like to have pairs of everything, there's usually two pairs of everything. So in Unit 104, there's two pairs of all-purpose cleaner, there's two pairs of, um, Rinseless, there's two pairs of this, and same thing here. Not all of them, but again, it kind of follows that same um, 
uh, concept of ha having pairs of two. So we have a bunch of pump sprayers. Obviously over time you purchase one by one because it can get expensive. But starting off, if you don't have any or you've been thinking about one or you know, you're gonna go to Home Depot tomorrow and you're thinking about picking something up, just try a pump sprayer out. You can find one for like 12 bucks, 14 bucks, 18 bucks. Um, and just fill it with your most used product. For most detailers, it's gonna be either their all-purpose cleaner, diluted either four to one or 10 to one, or maybe it's going to be an uh, iron remover. Uh, but get a pump sprayer, try it out. It'll definitely help you be more efficient. Next up is gonna be a tire applicator. Now, obviously we all know of this foam style one where pretty standard, pretty straightforward. But one that I wanna highlight is using a tire brush. Now this one, again, I have a link down below. I think it's like 12 bucks, I could be wrong. But with this one, this one is great for dressing thicker sidewalls. So typically like on a truck um, or any larger size vehicle, especially ones that have some very knobby uh, sidewalls where like it's very hard to get even coverage on the sidewall with this because you simply just can't get into the grooves and ridges. Adding your tire dressing onto the brush or just misting it onto the tire, onto the sidewall and then working in like this makes a big difference and it's a lot easier for these bristles to get into those grooves and ridges and crevices versus trying like to cram this foam uh, into, into, the, into the sidewall. So definitely for this one, like I do highly recommend having this one in your arsenal because a lot of times like you think like it's gonna be easy to do it with the foam, but this one comes in clutch and I see myself using it a lot more than what I would assume I would once I actually have that car here in front of me. And this is a dedicated tire dressing brush. We don't use it for any agitation. The only time we put on a tire is to actually dress something, no cleaning. All right, so lastly here, I'm gonna put either a work stuff brush or a detail factory brush. Now these can get expensive. So one brush might be like $12, $15, depending on the size and the type of bristles and from what brand. But I know there's a bunch of brands on Amazon where you can get like a pack of four, five, six for like $15. Don't get me wrong, I've gone through many of those early in my business because you wanted to get as many brushes for the, for the lowest price point. Um, but these just have a much different quality build. Like some of these we've had for years and they're still going strong. Um, there's plenty of, of, of styles, so I'm not gonna really pick and choose which one's the best because it's dependent on what you need it for. But if you have yet to have like a very high quality brush, like it'll make a big difference. For one, the bristles don't fall out as much. Uh, the, the actual handle here will last longer, whether you're putting it in water or just throwing around, whatever. Um, so again, same thing with the pump sprayers, is like don't purchase you know 20 of these, at, well, I don't know if you need 20, um, because we primarily use two for the interior. Uh, basically like one that's gonna, that's gonna be the agitation, which is typically like a more, a slightly stiff brush. And then the second one is just to kind of uh, get the liquid out of those tight areas from where you, so basically a cleaning brush and then a dry brush. This brush is gonna stay dirty and, and wet because it's cleaning and agitating the, the APC or the cleaner. And then this one is for the most part gonna stay dry because it's just to kind of get out any leftover debris or, or liquid that may be in like very tight areas or just to like to, to dust uh, the panels and such. So um, highly recommend you start with one or two by a little packet or a pack of two, and then from there kind of keep on moving forward and maybe get some, some wheel brushes or whatever. Um, so highly recommend these as well. And that's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know what are some other good tools or products that you use under $30 that you'd add to this list. I could have done like a list of 20, but we kept it short with six. And as you notice, I did keep it to actual like hardware tools, not chemicals, just because you can find almost all chemicals in some way under $30 based on like the size that you purchase. So thank you very much. And I'll talk to you on the next one.